Members of the Pan-African Parliament are meeting in the South African city of Johannesburg for the fourth ordinary session of the fourth parliament sitting. The MPs are set to discuss a wide range of topics aimed at advancing Africa's development. The President of the Pan-African Parliament, Rojan Nkomundang, opened the session with a call for legislators to wrap up their efforts to fight poverty and crime on the continent. Natural resources that need to be locally processed, that is why it's so necessary that we provide vocational training to guarantee our youth jobs. In face of the multifaceted challenges on our continent, we need a holistic approach. Dang also urged the MPs to come up with policies that can effectively address the continent's perennial challenges of youth unemployment and education. The Pan-African Parliament should play a decisive role by preparing continental laws which, once adopted by the member states, will enable the development of our continent. During the opening session, the permanent representative of the African Union to the United States Dr. Arikana Chihombori called upon the lawmakers to seriously consider the role that Africans in the diaspora can play in the continent's development. That is the role and contribution that our diaspora can bring to the development of our continent. They are our untapped potential. As you know very well, the link between Africa and this diaspora in the United States dates back to the first flagship that crossed the Atlantic. Two Africans presidents grasped the parliamentary sitting, namely Asa Mutharika of Malawi and Mark Christian Kabore of Burkina Faso. They stressed the need to strengthen the African Union in order to promote democracy in the region. The decision of the parliament towards a sovereign legislative organ elected through direct universal suffrage exercising its full functions has become very urgent. New representatives of the continental body from Liberia and Ghana were sworn in at the session. Uganda, like all other African countries, has five representatives at the Pan-African Parliament. The Pan-African Parliament, we've agreed to promote peace and security in the continent in order to allow good governance and also development. A number of countries in Africa are grappling with different problems. Now here in the Pan-African Parliament, leaders are brainstorming and seeing to it that at least they come up with policies to tackle some of these uh, challenges that Africa could be facing. Now in this year's session, one of the key things where focus has been put is on the issue of the youth to see to it that many of the youth are at least employed, looking at the fact that unemployment is a bigger issue. Maurice Ochoa, NTV, here in Johannesburg at the Pan-African Parliament.